Okay. How you guys doing? We're here. We're gonna oh, stop. Stop it. Stop it. You don't last nearly as long as the thousand years are. Anyways, playing with the Wii U, so you gotta have your, your strap on. Alright. Starting to fresh. New adventure. So I have to actually sit further back from the desk for the uh, motion sensor to work. So if I look smaller, that's why. I haven't shrunk, I promise. Wow, sure is peaceful today, eh, bro? Makes a guy feel lucky having a peaceful day. Yep, real peaceful. It's almost so peaceful. It's almost a little more. Makes you just want a kaburi, you know? Some kind of shocking event. Oh, my Princess Peach's place, maybe. That'd be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit Mushroom Castle. It's been a while, and I'm sure the princess would be happy to see us. Mario, help! Toad? What? What happened? Why are you so crazy? Those are always crazy. It's just shocking. The Mushroom Castle has been raided. Princess Peach stolen. What? Well, that's ridiculous. Who in the world would do such a thing? Wait a second. Yeah, I think I've got it. Bro, this must be the work of that guy. That bad guy. I don't know why you can't just say Bowser. <laughs> I won't stand for this. We'll have to sneak into his castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's go, bro. Oh, I must have. I must have started like two minutes early. Sorry, I was excited. It's new. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. Um, to be completely honest though, this is the absolute beginning. You haven't missed anything. <laughs> They're just sitting there going, man, it's boring. And then uh, Toad comes over and says, hey, Princess Peach has been kidnapped. Going to go and see Bowser. <laughs> Listen well, my elite minion task force. It's time to initiate my awesome plot to invade Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach online. I was like, sick, I'm here before 8 30. I'll be there before the start, and you already have started. Also, can you turn yourself up? It's hard to hear you. Hard to hear me. Is it hard to hear me, or is the music too loud? New game, new new balances, right? Is this better? Or is it me, myself? How's that? Better? Or am I too loud now? Oh, perfect. Perfect. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stomp her little mustache buddies. Yeah! It's got a, quite the assault group going on there. Wahaha, <laughs> we're under attack, you jokers are the best. Hey, who are those hairy guys in the back? We shave around here, minions. 
Alright, Mario and Luigi. How did you get in here? What, my front gate was open? How many times have I told those idiots if you're going to lock if you're the last in, lock the gate. Quiet you big Bowser. We know you kidnapped Princess Peach. Now where'd you put her? Where'd I wait? What? We're only about to launch our attack. Mario, help! Princess Peach? Black. <laughs> You're right. Your princess has been taken by Count Black. You wait, by who? By me, Count Black. The chosen executor of the Dark Prognostus is Count Black. The fine fellow prosifies. Please continue to say black like that? Okay, fine. The fine fellow prophesies also came into this dimension. It's also Count Black. I'll tell you who doesn't even make a little bit of sense. Count Black. There's so many blacks in this blacking game. Enough, release Princess Peach right now. I'm on a schedule over here. Count Black never says says never the princess is integral to fulfilling the prophecies she will be brought to the cas castle black and destroyed using all worlds by Count Black destroy all worlds no I can't fight him Ooh. big bro this man deserves ridicule. Weaklings cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's a thought. You calm down and free the princess or else. Blech. Your princess shall not be returned by Count Black. In fact, Bowser, evil king of the Koopas, Count Black will take you too. Blech. Black. And then they all get sucked into a portal. Even Luigi. Hehehehe, <laughs> Black. Now Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear as foretold in the prophecy. <laughs> Black. 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 So many Blacks. Here we go. Three hours of sleep. Let's. F <laughs> oh man, Drew, that's rough. That's rough, man. Just couldn't sleep. Mario. Oh, that's awful. I mean, if it's any consolation, I feel like I get hit by a truck, but I think it was just for my cat jumping on me. Damn, that's a face I don't usually see in the morning. Yeah, exactly. But when life gives you lemons. Yes, you watch and enjoy. Are you awake? My name is Tippy. I am what I... I am what is known as a pixel. Sort of fairy. Mario, I came to find you. I am no enemy. You met Count Black and he captured a princess and an evil king. When we start an... OF, we can use that same slogan. <laughs> I guess. I'm not starting one, but... <laughs> is this not so? Then that means Count Black is even now beginning to form the void. We haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, if, our, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Lemon Custard? Lemon pudding? What? Lemon cream pie? Are we just naming desserts now? Oh, 
Oh, oh, well, 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 back so soon, Tippy. And who might this be? Red shirt, blue overalls, and a magnificent stash. Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. Yep, just desserts, my love. Got a... Really? Matches the description of the hero in the light prognostis perfectly. And his name is Mario. I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You have come far from your mushroom kingdom of your dimension. Of course, our fair Flipside is no dimension at all. No, it is between dimensions. My name? Merlon. I am a descendant of the ancients who created this town. Merlon, you were in the last game. And you said something completely different. I busy myself in studying musty ancient texts and forestall the end of all worlds. Ah, you want to know about the end of all worlds. What's happening, you ask? So, Tippy has not told you yet, I gather. Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. That is one flashy, swirly black hole. The writers forgot my lore, so here's some new stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. You see that hole in the sky? It is a hole in the very dimensional fabric of space. Such a strange phenomenon. Is it near or far? No, no. It may appear small now, but it will only grow. And in the end, it will swallow all existence, all worlds, all dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Blick, who wields the Dark Prognostic. A fair and lovely princess, a furious monster king. The union of these two will call forth the Chaos Heart, a consumer of worlds. And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky and so bring forth the void. Yes, the passage Tippy just quoted is from the Light Prognostis of my ancient ancestors. The book also says this, The void will swallow all, and not can stop it unless one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of eight pure hearts will rise to this task, so it is written. This is one of the eight pure hearts. Oh yeah, he just so happens to have it in his pocket. He's just like, here you go. I, I found this on the side of the road. It's for you. You are surely the hero spoken of in the passage pages of the Light Prognostics. You are the only one who can defeat Count Black and save all the worlds. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. Nah. What? How can you refuse? If you do not accept this, all worlds will end. You must. I don't want to. After all I've told you, you still refuse? Uh, you are a very last soap. Wait, did I say... What did I say? Hope. Very last hope. This is the final time I will ask you. Please save the world. Fine. I don't want to have to talk all that stuff again. Because I have a feeling it'll just end the game right there. Excellent, you truly are the hero of the Book of Legend. My eyes never deceived me. So, ahem. Mario, our brave hero, take this. I go away to brush my hair, and what the fuck is going on? Also, that is a nice mustache. Um, so we got teleported into the flip side, which apparently is a dimension in between dimensions. Um... And we have to go and save all the worlds by collecting the pure hearts. Apparently eight of them. Now, great Mario. Great hero Mario. Your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you are through with this task. This way. What would a plumber scented soap smell like? Um... Shit. <laughs> Probably. Oh yeah, that all makes sense. I'm talking about the chaos that is drooping blue early in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah, they, they should not be together early in the morning. I should not be on the morning show. <laughs> Uh, top tier though, yeah. 
Druk hasn't uh, gained his ability to have a filter, what little of a filter he normally has. This way, please. Come along. I don't want to. No, I don't want to. Raw sewage and asparagus? Oh, why would you suggest such a thing? It's awful. Oh, hello there. Is this your first time in Flipside? We don't get many visitors, so I'm ever so glad I got to, to meet you. Take care. That looks like an inn. Mm, this town's so peaceful. If you ask me, that's all you can really ask for out in life. Alright, get out of the way. I need to go this way. Press it. I'm, I'm trying to. Everybody, including you, is getting in my way. So screw you, little butterfly. Okay. The heart pillar is this way. Come on, please. Must be this way. Kid, what are you doing here? Hey, you know anything about the weird black stuff in the sky? Looks kind of scary, but I don't know what it is. Huh? Weird thing in the sky. Wasn't that... wasn't there yesterday. Did a cloud blow up? Hey, what am I talking about? If a cloud blew up, we'd be wet, right? Hmm... This is the heart pillar. Now get close and place the pure heart. Some weird animations going on. And suddenly we have a door. Are these there forever now? Oh, no, they're not. Okay, good. Well done. Now let us return to Merlon. Man, I can jump so high. like four times my height. He's not Mario, he's Flea Man. Perhaps you should strike this block before we head back to Maryland. I, I have saved multiple times now. Ah, the two of you return. Look, a door has appeared. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure heart. Yes, yeah, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. This game is amazing. Tomato, how you doing? Welcome in. Um, I've never really played this game 100%. Uh, I've only ever gotten like the first or second heart, so... Uh, it, it's kind of going to be a new game for me, but I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you enjoy this game. Welcome in. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Of course. I'm Mario. I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. You got a return pipe, a magic pipe that returns you to Flipside from afar. With this, you will be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. To use your return pipe, go to the important things on the menu screen. Remember that some areas the signal from flip side might not reach. Play like 90% of fully completed. It was on the Wii like seven years ago. Yeah, th this game's this game's old. Uh, I think I played this when I was. Hmm. 
I want to say 18. And that was years ago. Late prognosis foretells that the hero will meet a dimensional governor. And from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I am almost certain this refers to my friend, the flip wizard, Bestovius. So now, go through this door and seek out Bestovius. Well, let's get going. Alright, we're on our way. Aw oh, man, more talking? Come on, I just want to play. Blehehehe, <laughs> bleg. The void has ripped in the... F the void has been ripped in the dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased. All gone as foretold in the Dark Prognostis. Now it's just a matter of time until the worlds meet their demise. Blech. Wow, that's just super, Count. Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty words. Worlds, and then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all the other icky stuff. Yes, yes, no one likes icky stuff. Yes, a perfect world. Sounds magical. Uh, ha ha ha, I can hardly stand the wait. Sorry I'm late. What in blazing bog rats? How did I beat myself here? What's going on? Me, 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 me. Oh, Chunks, you big silly. Did you oversleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time, though, when you've got muscles instead of brains. Hey, you can't be fooling me with that crazy shape-shifting hooliganery. It's Mimi, isn't it? Show a little respect for the count. Yeah, you can't go borrowing a f his face, lass. Bleh -he 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 -he. How delightful Mimi. Almost as dapper as Count Black. Oh, golly, thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count, that's my idea of the perfect world. And here, I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gem-filled pool with hunky lifeguards. Hey, Demencho, have you ever- have you been reading my diary? I mean, um, never mind. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Prognostis. Yeah, about that. Just an FYI, I got an urgent memo in your inbox. Apparently there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah. I'm thinking it's the Hero of Prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper and possibly the hero. Are you sure of it, Nastasha? Interesting, mused Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Count Black! Let me get this right in me brain. The hero Nastasia's going on about, he your enemy. Then you gotta cut me loose. I'm on it. Yeah, Gaia. Is this the one with the AI love drama, or was that the last Paper Mario? That was the last one we did. That was with, uh, Tech. I'll give him a nice taste of chunks. Very well, oh chunks. I'll leave you the hero chunk- Chucking. Your chunking to you? Do not fail, Camp Black. Yeah, can count on me, Count. I'll rain down like a fat thunderstorm, I swear it. Mimi, Dementio, yeah, you should take along, yeah. You could witness a proper chunkin'. Nastasia, what's your GPS doing in Paper Mario? No, 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 that's the car. That's what Blue calls the car. Hmm, I do enjoy a good chunking. Damn it, I knew it as soon as I typed it. <laughs> Well then, I believe I head out as well. Bleh. So, hero, would you would defy Count Black? Then hurry, for your world's end draws near. Bleh. Black. Okay, can I play now? Please? So much freaking talking. Mary was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with the Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. Indeed.
All right, so for everybody that does not know, this is not your typical Paper Mario game. They tried to do something different with this one, as they've tried to do something different with just about every other one since the Thousand Year Door. Um, and this was the start of everything controversy. Bro, I know half my Pokemon stream was me reading lines about filmmaking. Yeah, right? I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from here. Merlon told us to find his friend Bestovius to learn that dimensional technique. We better go find him. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know many things. Simply point your Wii remote at the screen. Tippy will focus. Then press A over anything, framed in red, and hear more about it. Feel free to ask Tippy about anything or anyone you want. So... Come on. Uh, don't do not do this. There you go. Oh, I, I'm apparently still a little too close. There you go. It's a Goomba. One of Bowser's minions. Max HP is one. Attack is one. It really puts it under... It really puts the under back into underlings. It has no remarkable traits. They are pretty much the lowest of the low. But I hear Goombas do have their fans. So what can you do? Alright. So typically in... Um, Paper Mario, if you were to hit this guy, you would start like a little battle thing where it's like a traditional RPG where you both take turns and attack. This one, it's like Super Mario. Super Paper Mario 3D World? Yeah, that, that's basically what this game is. So a lot of people liked it, like myself and uh, Tomato. Um, even more people hated it. And then, uh, as far as I know, things started going downhill for years, because there was other ones like Sticker, Sticker Stars and Color Splash. Everybody seemed to hate those ones. Can't go down that pipe. Yeah, right? I, I take it more as um, an individual game with just sharing Paper Mario name, but... Origami King had pretty good take. Yeah, Origami King was probably the only one I've enjoyed since this one. They started adding like real world objects into it like staplers and fans and that kind of thing and it, it just it got weird yeah like final fantasy style mario exactly this is not an empty house there's something in this room i can feel it i can help you with hidden things why don't you use my power to look around okay Ah, there's a door. There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. It's a door. Let's go inside. You don't say. Hmm. What is this meager mustache that stands before me? And how does it have the audacity to address my multicolored glory? How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Wait right there. Red shirt, conspicuous white gloves, jaunty cap. Ha! You are garbed in the rich cloth of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great... Hero impersonator. What a costume. You look like you leapt out of the pages from the prognostis. This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is the hero. Merlon told us to find you. Merlon, only his full body beard rivals my hairy magnificence. Man, <laughs> yeah. If Merlon thinks you're a true hero, you probably are, I think. Last Final Fantasy I played was 13, that came out in 2009. Yeah, it sucks to think about that, doesn't it? Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, 
I, Bestovius, will bestow you the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping for a nominal fee of 10,000 coins. Dude, you're gonna charge me? But that's preposterous. You can't charge the cheat sheet. See? Tippy's nose, or pixel, or whatever. Tippy, I think it is. Why not? Even the great and splendiferous Bestovius has certain expenditures. Why should the hero get the world delivered to him on a well-garnished platter? Because your ass will be toast if not. These heroes think they can get away with shaking people down for free skills. A mere 10,000 coins should be of nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? Now go screw yourself, bro. I see. So be it. I will settle for just taking all the coins in your pocket. Do we have a deal? No. Still you refuse? So be it. Though it makes me ill, I will waive the nominal fee to teach you for free. Do you agree to this? If I say no, will he give me money? How dare you? I've never suffered such an assault to my splendor. Be gone. You are unfit to stand before my shining magnificence. Oh, it's you. Now are you willing to pay the 100,000 coins? <laughs> I see, so be it. I'll sell for just taking the coins in your pocket. No. You'll teach me for free. That is right. Scantalizing. Let us begin. Flimity, flamity, flume, diggity, diggity, doom, zibbity, zibbity, zoom. Shaboom! Flip how? I, Bestovius, have granted you the ability to flip between dimensions. Press A to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind-blowing, isn't it? What is this A I speak of? I assure you that if we are being watched from another dimension, those beings will understand, but you lack the mustache for full comprehension. Just remember that you can use this ability to find hidden items and secret paths. But beware, your new ability to use your new ability too long and you will lose HP. Look at that! Use this flip ability to flip into 3D. Flip between 2D and 3D to get through tricky situations and find secrets. While you're flipping, the flip gauge in the upper left will start to drop. If your flip gauge runs out, you'll start to take damage, so flip back before that. Flip back into your 2D build to build up your flip gauge again. I got a healthy drink. And a shell shock. Nothing there. This is what I thought was the best about this game. You could just take a room that has nothing in it and then flip around and then suddenly there's stuff there. Okay, I gotta build my gauge up a bit more. sideways one coin what are you these are pal pills little pals will follow you and damage any enemy they hit okay I have multiplied is there anything over here oh look at that What about down here? More coins. Interesting. Nothing behind that, though. Oh my god. Let me in. Oh, bye dudes. Alright, so that's how you get into here. Uh, 
you don't take too much damage. It's only one HP per tick. So if you don't really care, you can just keep running. And it doesn't affect you too, too much. Defeat enemies to earn points. So when you earn enough points, you'll level up and increase your HP and attack power. Press plus this the menu to see how many points you need. Next level, 10,000. Okay. Burly Leaf it reduces all damage by half. Interesting. Oh. It hit me. Alright, what's this? Goomba card. If you collect an enemy's catch card, you boost the damage you do to it. The more cards, the better. You can boost your power by double, triple, or more. Cool. So now I do two damage to Goombas. I can't reach up there. up here. What are those things? I want to know. Uh, stop moving around so much. It's a squiglet, a small little creature that scurries around with its many legs. Max HP is 2, attack 1. There isn't much else to say about squiglets. When it spots an enemy, it gets excited and hops up and down. I have defeated the squiglet. Come on, get over there. It's a happy flower. For a little while, flowers with coins will rain down. No, oh, stop hiding in your hat. Okay, go this oh, don't fall off. Go this way. Damn Goomba! Anything over here? There's another squiglet. this thing. Playing leapfrog with it. How did I do that? Okay.
But you shoot things. Alright guys, let's go into this. Hey, level up. anything over this way. Just gotta go through here like this. such a weird little game. I do enjoy it though. So, how's everybody else stay going? I knew Druk is having like the worst morning of his life. This is a mega star. Use it to grow to mega proportions and trample your enemies. So far, so good. Still have a headache. Oh, that sucks. Boo, indeed. Now I am... Giant Mario. I destroy everything in my path. something over here. What did I get? It's a card. A Koopa Troop card. Interesting. It's the Crystal Stars! Do you want to save your progress? Yes. Please. Save complete. And so Mario came to learn the stupendous ability of flipping between dimensions. But there was still no there was no time to celebrate. Mario still had a pure heart to find. The trail ahead was overrun with savage beasts. Follow me, Tippy said as she flew towards the mountain that loomed ahead. The pure heart was hidden somewhere on the other side. So it is. I feel that the pure heart is beyond this mountain, but it's still far, far away. Something tells me you'll need to put that new skill of yours to use. We don't say. Take a point of damage. Just let me destroy all these blocks. Wolf and I are cuddling, couch cuddling, so I'm having the best time. You do enjoy your cuddle time with the cat. Boop, 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 boop. Oh! Oh, what the hell? What if I didn't want to do this? Oh, 
What if I was still exploring? Oh. There wasn't much to explore, to be honest. I just get to take the most trippy trip ever. So now we can use the mountains. Ah, I see. Is that all that was there? Nothing else up here. Alright. What we got going? Just keep flipping between dimensions. Get out of here, Koopa. Well, you're dangerous. We're going to run up the hill, take a point of damage, and go through the door. over there. Bridge closed, thread the bridge bridge master. Oh, are we gonna go and see Red the Bridge Master? What kind of cool stuff you got in your house? Hey, hey, you can see me. This is unbelievable. I've been freaking out here for days and finally someone sees me. A couple mornings ago, I roll out of the wrong side of bed. And once I get my coffee, I realize I'm stuck in some freaky parallel dimension. I've been hollering and flailing for days, but nobody could hear me or even see me. Just when I started to think that it, I'd be here forever, I see you. You just blipped in here out of the air? I was thinking if you could do that, maybe I can hitch a ride back with you. Just stand next to me and flip back to 2D. I'll hold on. Aha, we did it. I'm back to normal. Listen, you really bailed me out of there. That 3D business was freaking me out. The name's Red. Nice to meet you. Say, uh, any way I can repay you? Actually, there is one thing. There's a huge chasm outside that we need to cross. So you want to cross the chasm, huh? Well, you found yourself the right guy. But hey, I gotta warn you, you know, this place is called Impasse Pass, right? I'm only allowed to let a choice few cross the bridge. It's my job description. 
I mean, that's why they pay me to stand here. Are you sure you want to pass? Yeah, well, you did save me from being trapped in a parallel dimension at all. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Get the right answer and I'll let you pass. Sound good? Here we go. What's the most manly color in the entire universe, red or green? Red? Yes, you are so right. I knew it. You and me, we have an eye. To, we see eye to eye on fashion. I'll throw the bridge down. Hang on a second. Is red the most manly color, though? I don't think so. Alright, you should be good to go. You take her easy. Nope, it's lightish red. <laughs> it, isn't that pink? <laughs> ah, we have come to a town. Yeah, white red. Hey, stranger. Where did you blow in from? I'm gonna sound weird if I'm wrong here, but are you the legendary hero? You are? Phew. Okay, I've got three pointers I'm supposed to pass on to you. Ready? One, in trouble? Flip. Two, something suspicious? Flip. Three, feeling saucy? Flip. And there you go. Now you know. Why do we flip if we're feeling saucy? Good day! I'm here to rob you, shopkeeper. Something tells me you're not gonna let me, though. How's it? How you... How you... How... Hawaiya? Hawaiya, good! I see you found my fine shop here in Yold Town. First time here, eh? I gotta tell you, we offer shop points here for regular customers. You earn points with every purchase. Limit is one point for every purchase. You earn enough and you win a free gift. Free stuff for free. That's good. Wanna know how many points you saved up? Just ask me. Got that or you wanna hear my spiel again? I got it. I don't know why, but this guy reminds me of Scooter from uh, Borderlands. What you selling? <laughs> All right, we're good here. All right, what do you got hiding in here? Nothing. Thousands of years ago, a super advanced civilization lived in this area. We call it the Tribe of Ancients. I guess they built this town too. The mayor says there are secret tunnels and rooms in this town that they built. Look around real closely, you never know where there's a secret around the corner. That sounds like you want me to search your house with my handy dandy little flipper person. Is there a tunnel around here? I don't see a tunnel. I think we're okay. Hey, there's a pipe here. Where's this go? So many coins. We hit the jackpot. a lot of coins. 
What's in here? That looks like a pipe hiding behind that. Man. Oh, that's the door to progress. I don't want to progress just yet. I want to see what's going on around town. I haven't fully explored. No! Alright. There we go. What do you do? Oh, are you a traveler? If so, are you carrying enough items that restore HP? You can buy more at Hazard's shop here in the old town. You can even hold on to any extra items you don't want to hike around with. Is it don't want to hike around with, or that he doesn't want to hold? Who are you? Who's it? I'm the elder around here, so watch it. What do you want? Get off my rug. Actually, we were hoping to pass through town. Nothing but desert past here. There's treasure, but you'll get grit in your gut grunders. And that's what here is for. Your old town keeps the treasure safe from you. Watch it. Can't let you pass. See this little guy in my pocket? He's got something to tell you. Know what he says? Watch it. So give it up. Was that? Was it? You're the hero. Dumplings, if you were, you would have had a pixel that's shaped like a hand. I might believe you if you're the hero, but if you don't have one, you don't. See the beer here? It's got something to tell you. You know what it says? Watch it! Why does that guy say watch it all the time? Nothing but watch it. Ah. So that's how you get up there. Boom Boxer card. Hey, did you hear? There's a talk of renaming Old Town to Heroesburg. It's all because of this legend that the heroes will visit this town after saving the world. The heroes are coming here. Can you believe it? Maybe we should put up a sign. Mr. Green. Hey, Mr. Redshirt, you want me to flip the bridge down for you? Can't do that. Nope, you need special permission from high up. It's the law. No way am I doing hard time. You need to the okay from old man watch it. Good luck with that. That old timer is more crab than man. Oh, you got a card behind your behind your bed. Got a red and green card. What does that do? Okay, so that's what a boom boxer looks like. Scrolling down. Oh, okay, it's those two. Cool. Jumping down the tunnel. Alright. Now. Now I will go through here. guys think you're all scary. They just walk straight past you. Okay. Uh, 
A hidden door. Now we should be able to get somewhere. Aha! Whoa, what's going on? Oh no, the door. Now we're locked inside. Sweet freedom! Is it another curse? Oh no. Hey, it's a dude. Wait a moment. I have been set free. The legendary hero must have done it. I expressed concern when the ancient stuffed me in that chest 150... 1,500 years ago. But it seems my fears were quite unfounded. The hero has finally arrived. Are you a pixel? Why, yes, I am indeed a pixel. My name is Thoro. Are you a pixel as well? But you don't look familiar. Are you a newer model? I, well, I, um... No matter, details do bore me. What is important is that the fact that I have waited ages to lend my skills to the hero. And the glorious day here you are. Do not take... Do take me with you. You simply must. You will then smashing. The throwing pixel Thoro has joined you. you use him to pick up and throw objects and enemies. You can even throw while you jump. With me at your side, one many one may grasp objects with great vigor. Simply press one to use my throwing ability. What's one, you say? You need not worry. The great being that watches us will know what it is. Just remember that I can grasp objects and enemies and hurl them with gusto. Grab something with one and then press one to throw it again. Why not take a moment to get acquainted with my useful talent? You will need my ability to get out of this room. Ready, set, go. There we go. Glorious day! Consider me fully at your disposal. Now to adventure and beyond. <sighs> Can't stop yawning today. Drake, you've cursed me with your tiredness. <laughs> Is that a tub of salt? Yep, okay. Alright, I got a thing that's shaped like a hand, now let me pass. If you had that pixel, I might believe you're the hero. Was it? You do? Of course you do. You're the hero. Knew it all along. Watch it. I'll give that green feller a call. He'll let you cross that bridge. Hello, green. It's me. Watch it. I said watch it. Watch it! Watch it! I said watch it, not botch it. This he hero feller wants to get across the bridge. Yes, I told him about his the grit. Ah, yes. Let's keep that between us. Let Just let the mustache guy through. Sure, buddy. Yeah, indeed. Just get off my rug and go talk to green at the edge of town. Watch it. Well, it looks like I can finally retire, because my job is done. When you're in that desert, keep a watchful eye out for some rooms. The treasure is there. Nasty beast too, so watch it. What an old cranky man. Cranky old fart. All right, Mr. Green, let us pass. I got a call from Old Man Watch, and so you're that hero guy then, huh? Right on. I'll put the bridge across for you straight away. Oh, your bridge is fancy. 
the red bridge was just simple. Mind if I ask you a question? Red or green, what's better? Both. What? what? Both of them? Grow a spine when you do, you can use it to get out of my house. <laughs> I think I made him mad. Nothing over here. End of chapter! Do you want to save your progress? Yes. With a bold quiver of his magnificent mustache, Mario let loose a hearty sneeze. A single grain of sand had flown along the warm wind and tickled the hero's nose. It wasn't long before Mario and Tippy found the source of the sand in the old desert. Along the endless sun-baked expanse, Mario and Tippy continued their search. Chapter 1, 3 Sands of the Old didn't old man watch it say something about there being some runes around here? The pure heart can't be far now. We better not waste any time. Is there anything on this side? See a pig over here. Oh, there we go. Level up. Always nice. The game really wants me to burn things. This is a speed flower. Temporarily speeds up time. You also earn triple points and coins while it's active. Run for your life, it's a zombie shroom! Oh no. I don't want to die. Summons a ghost shroom to snack on your enemies. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Don't mess with zombie shrooms, I guess. Hey, there's a card over there. There we go. That's how you get rid of these guys. Got a squig card. A squig is, but what the hell is that? This dragon like monster is a jawbus, they tend to bite anything near them. Max HP is five, attack is one. Its only weakness is the glowing spot on its back. It won't look behind it, so try. Flipping to 3D and sneaking behind it. Hmm. 
That was a weird enemy. Colonel Dupes, a new adventure. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Welcome in. We're only a little bit uh, into it. Not, not very much. Turns out I don't remember a damn thing about this game. So it's like a, a whole entirely new adventure. That thing looks like a butt. Oh no! Wake up! Why has he got like little paper cut things around him? No. I said hurt him. Oh, they go with you. Okay. Interesting. Mm, nothing over here. You know what? You guys can follow me over here. And I'll just stomp on you in this dimension because it's easier. And then we'll go back. And I'll go this way. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Oh, I need to heal. Four HP left. It's not gonna help me. The old signpost. Find ye the tall red palm tree of fortune, and leapeth under its branches ten times. I do remember seeing a red palm tree. How will he solve this riddle? Um, I know it's... It's very hard. Too hard, in fact. I, um... I must confess that this is where the game must end. Uh, adventure over? I can't solve it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> GG, you win this game. Through a sheer stroke of brilliance, I accidentally stumbled upon it. the solution we were all looking for. Ah, zombie shrooms. Well, this is awkward. No, stop it. know what's up here. Kill the squig. So very helpful.
I don't want to fall in there. Let me go this way. Jump up here. Throw Mr. Hand there. Thorough. That's his name. That's just rude. Did he drop an acorn wand? A horse tail. A spring reed that restores 7 HP and cures po poison. Interesting. So if I hop up here, and I do that... Damn it. Alright. There we go. It is underground. You lost your water bottle. This is the worst. Why must you stagger them all? Oh, you found it? That's good. You left it somewhere where you weren't expecting it. It's just how it goes. Gragoogly! So you're the lad sticking his stash in my boss's business. Did he just scare the doorway? You shouldn't have crossed the count. Now I'm gonna have to get chunky on you. Well, I mean, why would you keep looking for it if you found it? You, you're the Count Blex Thugs, aren't you? Oh, Chunks is me name. And I'm no common thug lass. I thug for the Count of Counts, Count Blex himself. One word from the Blecky boy, and I come take ya. I feel some damage. Damage? Ah, make that damage. Whatever then. Not that it matters. A pinch of stew in a sandstorm. You're a goner. Do you even know what Count Black is trying to do? Duh. The boy is using powers and whatnot to bring back some of the order to this here world. An enemy o black is gonna be an enemy o mine. They all get chunked. This o chunks is a lot scarier than the other enemies we face so far. Want to be famous? You, good sir, are banned. Have fun. Maybe you should try my power to investigate him when we battle the b start the battle. Enough is enough already. It's time to time the thunder from high and deliver a breathing of O eggs. Chunk on it. 
That's O Chunks. He's a big bearded warrior of a man. Max HP is 20, attack 1. He can grab you by the feet and hurl you. If you're in reach, he'll toss you, so keep your distance. But you can turn the tables on him and use Thero to send him flying. Oh, we're, we're just having a throwing match. Oh, that was quite the animation there. You always picture an old-timey, like, casting people, cigarette in hand, wanna be famous? <laughs> wanna be famous? Here's what you gotta do, kid. Give me all your money. One of the best boss fights of our generation. He kind of reminds me of like, oh my god, stop it. Um, you ever played Donkey Kong Country 2? Uh, I think his name is Clubba. He's one of the bosses in that. Kind of reminds me of that fight a little bit. Get out of here. Nope. I'm chunked! Me chunks, you failed me. I got pummeled on you, barely sweat a brow. Hey, what a kind of strange little man are you? The strange little man is none other than the legendary hero, Mario. Mar Maria, eh? Tis an odd name, yeah, but you can bet your bebby I'll remember that. His name's not Maria, it's Mario! Yeah, remember this, Maria. If you didn't look like such a wee toddler, I wouldn't have t taken it so easy on you. But hey, I have to give it up for your effort, so let's call it a tie. You better get some chunks on you for the next time, though, eh? And while you're at it, why don't you wax that bony stash of yours? Till we meet again, eh? Chunks away. Oh, lovely. Did you understand a word of what that goon was saying? No. But my name is now Maria. We are playing Super Paper Maria. No, no not like my name. His name, Mario. Mario is now Maria. This is Super Paper Maria. <laughs> oh dear god. What have I started? What have I done? Should I go in this one or should I go in the one with the at the front? I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna have to backtrack. Like I was right.
There's probably another one of those statues through that other door that tells me what to do there. Purchase the atop the distant platform of blue, and the following is for the eyes of the hero only. Gazey at the sign side of the signpost. Press down and one at the same time to make something of interest happen. Or negative in one. Alright. What a weird button combination, but we're gonna do it. Wrong door. Wrong door. It is a confusing layout. I think it's kind of done like that on purpose, though. These levels aren't, like, super long. So I feel like, uh, they kind of make it confusing on purpose so that you lose track of what's going on. get to play the game a little bit longer, you know? Indeed. Do you want to save? Yes. Somehow Mario had found the strength to cross the desert's sweltering dunes. Ahead was a sprawling complex of runes rising out of the sand. Thankful for the shade, Mario and Tippy ventured in deeper inside. They were the very runes Old Man Watchet had warned them about. What dangers lurked in the shady corridors ahead? We will never know! It's Chapter 1-4, Monster of the Runes. Mary, I can feel it calling. The beer herd is nearby. But wait, I sense something else emanating from the sand dunes. Be careful now, Mario. Something else is waiting for us ahead. Is it a safe lock? No, it's a squiggly. We must check this way. Nothing. Boom, boom. Boom 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 ba doom boom. Jump. Jump. That's fire. Oh, there goes that mushroom. Mm. 
Alright. Go this way. Oh, nothing there. Alright. What's up here? A ladder. That goes to a chest. And inside, we have a life shroom. What we truly need is a save block. me to dodge all this stuff. It ain't happening. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That needs a key. Those flipped over. That looks like a key. Ow, that hurt. There's my shroom shake. Runes key. And a save point. Perfect. Saving. All right. Everybody that's here, thank you very much for watching. Even if you're not present and you're lurking, thank you very much for lurking around. That's cool. Um, we're going to be back tonight at uh, 8.30 p.m. for Lemon's Arc Challenge with Mr. Druk Dane from Twitch.tv slash Druk Dane. If he's here, he can say hi. Although, honestly, who knows? Maybe he's going to be dead tired. He only got three hours of sleep, so... <laughs> yeah we'll 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 see how that goes if not i'll figure something else out um but uh we also have skelly uh going for rimworld today at 1 30 um and then john from let's get tactical is doing something at six i think six or seven either way um you can check out all our stream schedules and events at this discord link right down here if you want to check it out uh, you got our stream schedules, we got announcements, we got our clips and highlights and all that kind of stuff. And you can chat with each other, have some fun, play some games together, you know, do all sorts of stuff. But anyways, thank you for watching. We are going to go and double check, make sure that our usual raid suspect is live. And he's not. Oh, sorry. Yeah, maybe maybe he's not on today. That, that's okay. But okay, well, um, normally we go and raid uh, Universal Dare Tech, but he doesn't appear to be on, so it is what it is. Um, so yeah, go check him out when he is live, though. He's fun. Uh, and yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. We'll see you later tonight.